Good morning, everybody. How are we doing this morning? Oh, man. I need some coffee. Oh. All right. Well, as you may have noticed, this is not Teotin County. This is Medicine Creek. Welcome to our new farm. We, uh... We had a few issues on our other farm. Oh, I guess I closed the door. Take my coffee with me. Oh, excuse me. I've been working extremely hard getting everything set up and moved over here. Uh, we hired out and had a whole bunch of our equipment moved. We had to sell everything off over there that we didn't didn't bring with us. I mean, you know, we got our our drill and our planter from over there. The uh, uh, Deutz Alice came with us. Uh, this is a new Kill Brothers. We've uh, we've used one of them in the past. Um, we got this 8530. We traded the Versatile and some of the other equipment off for it. It's not bad. It's uh, it's so far it's been pretty good. Uh, this 8820 was actually here on the farm. Uh, it, 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 it was already here. So, uh, you know, we did, we did inherit a few things. We got a corn header here and up here is a regular header. Oh man, I'm just moving slow. We brought our baler, our smaller baler and, uh, our wind rower. And, uh, we ended up inheriting this Kill Brothers gravity wagon. And we've also got this John Deere forage harvester and uh, wagon that goes with it for making uh, TMR and picking up stuff to put in our silo over there. Uh, in here, we got our truck. I had our truck repainted. Uh, had it repainted and redone, some new tires on it before it came up here. It hauled everything here. In fact, you can see the tires are already got a little bit of wear on them. But, um, we bought this Strobel tender new, kept our 3020, kept the uh, 4320. Uh, we inherited this International 1490. And this Sunflower Disc is brand new. And we brought this case chisel plow with us. So, overall, pretty nice little farm that we got here on Medicine Creek. Yeah, we got a nice little international uh, power washer here. But, not a whole bunch here. Um, I mean, we got cattle. I guess I can swing around that direction and show you the cattle real quick. Oh, um, I got us a different truck, but I kept the bed for our feeding, uh, feeding of the cattle, and I kept our bale trailer, and I kept our, or our transport for cattle. Now, uh, I guess we can close that. This here is a, uh, this is a beef operation, not a dairy operation. I might look into dairy at some point in the future. And we got a whole bunch of hay bales that blew over. We had a storm the other day up here. I wasn't here when it happened, but all the hay bales we had stored, they got blown over. I got to get out there here sometime and get them picked up and cleaned up. Uh, we did get rid of the little Honda. And, uh, man, I'm still drinking on my coffee. Uh, I'm sorry. In here, you can see our Ram 350 that uh, we bought for a lot of the transport. And, uh, you know, this is our new house. So, like I said, welcome to our new farm. It's, it's a beautiful farm. But we do have some crops that are uh, ready to be harvested. We pretty much own everything across the street over there, kind of going along that tree line. And then everything kind of back up that way to the tree line it's I'll show you as we go along 
But um, we've had everything on the farm gone through. So it's not like something isn't going to be um, ready to rock and roll. Uh, okay, here we go. Get this thing moving here. I, I just, I'm tired, let me tell you. I did a lot of the transport myself. I rented a lot of equipment to get the transport done. And, yeah, I'm just, I'm really exhausted. But, over here, harvest has begun. So, whoa, that ain't going to work. Let's get this thing forward gear here. There we go. So, yeah, we kind of did things a little different. 8820. Um, we'll get a chance to go down to the dealership here in the near future. But, uh, nice setup that we have here. It really is. I like our new farm, I think it's going to serve us well. Oh, back to, yeah, reasons why we have left our other farm. Well, I had an offer on it, and I didn't pay too much attention to the offer originally, but the guy came back with a ridiculous deal on it, and um, at the same, about the same time, I had found this property, and uh it was, it was a nice property. And I thought, well, you know, that's not too bad of a deal. Uh, there was a, about the same amount of acreage over here as there was over there. But it was condensed into this one farm. And, uh, well, yeah, I just... I'll be honest, I couldn't turn it down. I really couldn't. Okay, let's get this hooked up. I guess we could start out filling this up. Yeah, I couldn't let go of the 9190. We probably have more tractors than we need over here, to be honest. But, um... You know, that's really a problem for another time. I think, yeah, right here is probably good enough. I don't know this property. I don't know the land or the area. What the yields are going to be like or nothing, but uh, we're going to find out here because we're going to dive right into it. Okay, let's see here. Oh, better unfold everything here and get it ready. Maybe. All right, there we go. Get our bin extension unfolded here, and uh, I think we are ready to rock and roll. Oh, I guess not. Now, are we ready? Yes, thank you. Oh, we need to uh, turn off our straw swath. Because, yeah, we don't need straw from this. All right, let's dive right in here. We'll let the uh, John Deere kind of do its work here and see how good of a combine we have. Anytime I start out on a new farm and something's left behind, I worry about it. Now, granted, I had somebody come in and do service, so I'm hoping we should be just fine. Boy, look at this Milo. Look how big this field is, too. This is going to take us just a hair bit of time. Girls running good. 
I am so very happy for that. Boy, it's filling up fast, isn't it? Yes, it is. That is filling up a lot faster than I expected, but... Yeah, we got that bend extension, so we got a ways to go. But yeah, it was just all a buyout. I, uh... I sold what I could. Brought the profit over this way. And now we're just kind of reaping the benefits. Now, I do have money in the bank other than what's shown. I did go ahead and put 180000 into a savings account separate from the main farm account for emergencies. So just because it says 102 does not mean that's what we were left with. That just means I, for once, thought of being a little bit smarter in this and saving some of my money back. Look at that. Not even a full round. Wow. Well, that's kind of hard to see, isn't it? I have to lean forward here to see this. There we go. That looks better. Yeah, it's not too bad. You know, it's still kind of cool this morning, but the dew should be off of this, and we should be ready to go. I mean, we can. Our new facility does have a drying area, so if we need to, we can dry things up. But, uh, yeah, I didn't expect it to be this good of a yield here. This is, this is not too bad at all. Wow, look at that. It's coming in good, that's for sure. I wish I could have brought both of our combines, or at least, uh, the John Deere, but... Man, did... I didn't have the ability to oversize that load. So, I would have had to hire it out, and the hiring cost was pretty high, to be honest. And while I was over here, I found this particular combine, and, well, I mean, it was here on the farm, so... I guess that's good enough for me. Boy, look at these low areas here. Hope we don't stall out down in them. I didn't think about that. Basically full. I'll be dang. Man, what a... Uh, that's a pretty low area right there. What a, uh, what a bumper crop here. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. But, uh, I suppose we had better unload here. Let's see here. Oh, I didn't think about the height on this. I hope it's okay. Hopefully it is. Oh, yeah, we're good. We are good to go. Good deal. Well, I will finish getting this uh, unloaded, and I'm going to get back to it. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you here in just a few.
everybody. Welcome back. Uh, looks like we're starting to mound up here, so I probably should go ahead and go get the uh, truck. Get out of the way here. Yeah, that's not a good thing. And I uh, found something interesting in the field here. Uh, just glad I got these nice big flotation tires on. Because down here in this low... Look at that. There's water standing. Look at that. So, I imagine if I wouldn't have had them flotation tires, I would have been stuck. So, I'm going to have to pay real close attention to what I'm doing. Especially when I get down there, which means I'm not going to be able to take the uh, semi into that part of the field at all. Uh, I know I've got some pretty good looking tires on it, but um, I don't think that's going to work too well. You know, one of the, another reason that when that guy offered me the money for that area for uh, Teoton, I took it was let's just be uh, let's just be honest, everybody. I felt like life was moving super fast, and I didn't have a chance to just do things for myself. So coming over here also gives me a chance to. Uh, Maybe slow down a little bit. I'm not running two farms. I'm just running one, mine. And uh, that might make a difference. Um, let's see here. Let's just make a big loop. It's my yard, so, you know, why not? And we're going to park right up here and uh, drag everything over here to fill this. I can't fit in the tunnel or I'd just use the cart by itself. There we go. If, uh, if I had a way of doing that, I probably would, to be honest. So, may not be the... Oh, that's actually pretty good. I was say, it may not be the most professional, but uh, it works. Yeah, I didn't realize how goopy it was. I'm going to have to be careful with the cart. I know this is pretty hard ground through here. It, you know, it's grass and hardly ever gets anything done with it. But um, out there in that field, I might be even a little hesitant with this tractor. But, I mean, we're going to have to get in it a little bit. And it doesn't seem... Oh, it pulled kind of hard right through there. Yeah, she's a-hopping and a-popping. So, yeah, it's heavy. It's, uh, it's full and it's goopy. Not things that are good in combination. I better leave that down until I get over these power lines. I think I planned this out pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Go ahead and get this full up here. And I think once we get this emptied, I'm going to switch tractors. Uh, just in case we got to go out in the field. Just in case. Okay. Well, no, I need to, I need to stay in here. Let's go ahead and switch that out real quick. Don't get me wrong, this is a great tractor, but if we get down and it starts bogging, 
I want front wheel assist and a little bit of help. So we'll just hop in here. This is way, way overkill. Okay, let's get in here. Boy, this is a nice tractor, let me tell you. It is clean. Person that had it before me did take good care of it. I like it. There we go. And it can move. Man, look at the of course. <laughs> it's over 300 horsepower. You know, um in fact, it it has more horsepower than the versatile did. So, yeah, it's got a little gumption. And we'll just park right back here again. This way, if we get out into the field, I'm not as concerned. Yeah, I think that'll be better. But, yep, old girl, she's doing good. Man, I'll tell you. Probably should learn to leave it running while I'm not in it. That way it doesn't get so darn warm in here. Okay, yep, we're all fired up and ready here. Let's go ahead and see if we can make a round down again. But, uh, like I said, it's nice to slow down a little bit. Enjoy, the, you know, life and enjoy a little harvesting here. I mean... Look at that. That is such a nice machine running through the field. It really is. It is a nice machine. Okay, low spots. We gotta watch them. Oh, I felt that slip a little bit there in the low. Yeah, like I said, I don't want to get stuck, and I really don't want this thing getting stuck, but. I guess, you know, if it happens, it happens. We have a way to pull ourselves out. I didn't think it had rained that much. Oop, that was water. Oh, oh. Come on, come on. Drop her down a gear and pull through. Woo, boy. That was close. That one was a little on the muddy side. I gotta remember not to go through there again. I really do. Well, I'm gonna have to go back the other way through it. And I'll be heavier, because I'm gonna have more in the hopper, but... I mean... You just gotta do what you gotta do. The main thing is we get this just harvested. Got this and one more field back over there to go. And we will, um, you know, we'll be done with this part of harvest. Now, we do have soybeans and corn that are not ready yet. And uh, those are going to be a while. Yeah, this little corner back here is just going to be a trouble. I can see even with cutting a little bit off. We'll just go ahead and cut our way back here. There we go. You know, I suppose it ain't too bad of a yield. I imagine we'll get... Oh... Yeah, we'll get a decent amount off here. 60, 70,000. I mean, we've already turned... 30-some in, so... Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Oh, she's starting to waller a little. See it dipping down? That means the ground's giving way. I wish I would have bought a rear wheel assist combine instead of a two wheel, but... Okay, here we go. Here we go. 
hammer into it. There we go. Ooh, that could have been bad. But I think we're past the water. The wall, water was all congregated over here on the... When it rained, you could see it out here. And, uh, you know... Oh, here it is, too. There's some water over there on the left. Man. Oh, we're climbing up and out of it, though. Like I said, I'm just glad I put these floats on. When I had an option... They, uh, they gave me the option of the duels or singles, and, well, I choose, chose the duels. So I wanted to make sure I could get around. So, yeah. Just kind of got to do what you got to do. Make it work. Oop. There, we're full again. I wasn't paying attention. Must be getting into some better, better Milo here. Much better Milo. For it to be uh, finishing up that quickly, man. What I ought to do is go down there and cut that corner out. Make it easier on myself. There we go. But, yep, I'll get to working on this. I'll see you here in a few. into a bit of a snafu here it is just too wet um, you know I didn't think we got that much rain the other day but apparently we did but uh, yeah I can't keep going like that it's uh, man it is absolutely terribly terribly wet down in there um, there's areas where I was sliding side to side and couldn't make it around and you know that just don't that don't bode too well for harvesting but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing turned around and emptied up real quick and I guess we're gonna have to wait for another day we'll see what our time looks like Come on, come on, come on, come on, go on. Not a problem. Thank you, front wheel assist. Yeah, she just grabs it and says, let's go. <laughs> what a good tractor. I'll tell you. But then again, it was kind of goopy, so, you know, nothing against my other tractor. It did its job. But we'll go ahead and get this emptied up here. Fill this front hopper full. And I suppose anything left, it should be all right. Combine's empty, so if it rains, that isn't a problem. Oh, we must be full. Let's have a look. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we are way full. All right, well, we'll just go ahead and lower that auger. And I think for now, we're just gonna go ahead and put this up here. I'd like to show you the rest of our land and kind of what's, you know, what our area looks like. Uh, we're not gonna be selling this right away. Obviously, we will be uh, storing it for a while. So we'll just go ahead and put this back in here. That's a good place for it to keep it safe and dry. Just in case it decided to spit. God, I hope I... Oh yeah, I had plenty of room. And we're covered anyway, so that's fine. Okay, let's hop in the truck here and let's go show you where where we uh, where we store this at. Pretty simple, to be honest, you know. A little heavy, but nothing this thing can't handle. Well, I guess if we got off in the in the wet and the muck, it wouldn't handle it very well. But we've got our own dump pit here, which uh, works out pretty good for us. We can just dump our uh, dump our own grain off right into our elevator. And it's got a pretty good storage capacity. There you can see our corn crop. Get our back hopper. Yeah, it's got this newer trailer I bought, it's got a little bit more capacity than our old one. Okay. Well, anyway, we just come around here. There's part of our corn crop there. Circles in around back in behind them trees. Goes clearer back up there. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll hop on something that won't get stuck. You know what? Let's just back this up right here. This don't need to be down. Yeah, look how muddy it is. Look at that. Yep, just a little dirt spot that's still muddy. Oh, I better close the tarp on her. Can I close the tarp here? There we go. I guess, uh, let's just take the uh, 3020. She shouldn't get stuck down in there. Well, anyway, like I said, we've got a cornfield that stretches way up in here. Oh, I don't know how muddy this low will be, but it shouldn't be. But yeah, this cornfield, uh, have a look here. It stretches way back up in there. So we ought to have a real good corn harvest. And we're going to have to get some hay laid down to start feeding, making feed for our cattle. But I'll, uh, I'll use the tractor here to get back in those areas. Because, yeah, that's going to be important. Well, anyway, our soybeans, they go all the way up to those trees and we'll just take you back here at least with this yeah if I, I could take the pickup but I have a feeling I'll find some goober that a little bit wider tires will uh, help with but yep 
That's all soybeans over here on the right. Look at that. Boy, that'll be a that'll be a good crop. And then over here on the left is our oats field. We'll go up this way here. It's not a huge field. It's a little bit smaller than that field there. Uh, it's not our smallest field. It's probably our second smallest. But it's got a lot of waterways and everything down through it. You can see down there. It goes clear down there. Whoop. Running over my crop. But, yep. We got... A fair decent amount of land. Yeah, let's so look at them soybeans all the way up there. They ought to be dry, but down there in the lows, I know this wouldn't be dry. It, uh, it kind of sucks because I was hoping to, uh, to get this all harvested today, but, you know, I might try a little bit later in the evening. If the sun gets to shining like they say it will, get rid of this cloud cover. That might dry up. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look without getting the uh, tractor stuck. Oh, yeah. Look how muddy and nasty. Water's starting to disappear, but... I had some service done on the 3020. Boy, she runs a little better now. In fact, she runs quite a bit better. It'll be a good haying tractor for us, I'm sure of that. Real good haying tractor. But, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, We'll take a look at the uh, local amenities here soon. Boy, look how dirty I got. My word. I got mud packed everywhere. I should have cleaned that off before I put it back out there, but uh, it'll be all right till we finish that. I might do that while I'm prepping it to get other things done, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Well, I think we can just park this right in here for now. Good old tractor. Boy, I like that tractor. Uh, of course, I, you know, I got the 4320 up here, too, and uh, I like it, too. I kind of miss the 43. Or the 4240. That was a nice tractor as well. We'll, uh, we'll see if that International Harvester uh, Power Washer works worth a darn or not here soon. But anyway, yeah, I think we're just a little bit too wet. And I know that ground down over there would be wet or I'd lay this hay down. So, I guess we'll just have to wait. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.